Hello everyone, Shani Noka here, Kahanalu Hawaii, coming to you from Ehukai Beach Park. Um, real special day today. I want to introduce you all to uh, one of the true legends of body surfing and you know talk story about the pipeline body surfing contest and yeah I just want to introduce you all to uh, somebody that I've looked up for to for a long time the originator of the belly spin and it's hard to say underground because he's won so many championships but the underground king at panics uh, BK Hope good morning everybody my name is Barry Hope aka BK Hope so how'd you do in the pipe counters? I did good the first day and I got worked the second day. Um, <laughs> it yeah. was brutal, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the pipe contest. Uh, I, I just got a lot to, you know, there's, there's such a mix of emotions to, or mix of thoughts on the event and the conditions. Um, the first day, I think it was pretty all time. As far as, like historically, the, the the contest back in the days when you, 90s, like, yeah, 90s. in your heydays, I seen all the videos from those days, like real legit pipe, and you know recently it's just the event has kind of struggled. I think for maybe about ten years or so, but you know we just had had some bad luck of surf. So this year was was awesome because we got some surf and. I had to pull some strings <laughs> to get off of to, to get my work and stuff done. I pulled some strings to get in the last heat of the day. I rolled up like 10 minutes before my heat. I noticed. And nobody knew I was here. And I squared off against the wizard, uh, Todd Sells. Todd Sells, former champ, multiple. Yeah, I know that guy. Todd Sells, multiple time champion out here at Pipe. And uh, he was the seated guy in our heat, and it was Todd, Kaya P, Kaya, Kaya P, K, uh, Kaya Paulson. For everyone, if you guys haven't heard that That's name, a young and up and coming. you're gonna hear it again. One of the up and coming young rippers, 16 years old, Kanaka Maoli, double agent, body surfer, body border. Uh, one of the new Kahanalu Hawaii crew. So it's me, Kaya P. Um, Mark, and then who else was in our heat? Oh, I, I think we had one of the, the older visitors. So you had a young boy and a seasoned veteran. Yes, yes. Where do you fit in in there? Experience. <laughs> <laughs> I used my experience to sit in the right spot because, you know, Todd Sells, um, he's just a freak and as far as like being able to swim and he's just, one of the best rough water swimmers on the north shore right now yeah he's like one of those legends he's a, he's you know, a legend yeah yes. water polo me he's, and him won the rescue race one year and he made me run and i told him walk on the beach <laughs> we had such a big lead he was running i said let's just walk <laughs> but yeah he's an animal out there so he he usually sits he usually sits the deepest and in past events, I've sat next to him and I don't make the waves in that se that section like he did. So I just sit in my zone. That was that was the good thing about the first day. I just stick to what I know, stay in my spot and caught, caught good waves. The waves that, you know. Um, oh, you had a better heat than I. I got scooped by a 260 pound horse. <laughs> Chris Baker is badass and guys who are bigger, you guys do have the advantage at pipes, let me tell you. He, there drove, is, he drove to that barrel and made my jaw drop. I got screwed. There is an advantage sometimes to having weight to make sections or to power two waves, but the disadvantage is when you gotta swim. <laughs> the curve? disadvantage is when you gotta swim. Man. This year was one of the worst years I ever seen it. Yeah. Beauty and the beast, the current was the beast and the waves was the beauty, but that was one of the hardest contests I ever, ever entered in my 37 years career. <laughs> Not to say I'm that old, but 
that that was incredible if you made it out there and came back in on your own power you should get a trophy anyway mm -hmm. and i saw a female out there that really blew my mind yeah sunny she's incredible these women are getting braver and braver but yeah that was a good day the first day the second sunny day took was, me out the second day yeah she's that good she got lucky that's all you need is a little luck and some um, craziness. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's awesome to see though that they still have a compass. Many a years it's like you wonder we get a slot or not, like you said. The best thing thinking about it, aside from Kelly E winning, the best thing yeah, Kelly. The best thing that Kelly. I, <laughs> the best thing about this contest was that it showed that you know with uh, <clears throat> with multiple events trying to run on the same holding period this year was the first year that body surfing got first choice so i think with that uh, brian phillips and the no shore lifeguard association did an awesome job it's never easy yeah. um it's never easy calling you know having run contests it's never easy because you know the waves and you want everything to work out but the waves was epic on the first day and then still epic on the second day just very challenging challenging, challenging. so for those who did well hats off to you guys man